Hello everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, we're, I'm going to show you how you can add conditional branching to your Minecraft computer. Now this is going to be based on the computer design I used. If you're using a similar design, it, this should also work. So, first off, I have made a couple of adjustments to the Minecraft computer I showed you how to build in order to make this work, because it wasn't initially set up for it, so uh, I did add a couple things. And the, I only added the really menial things already because I thought you might want not want me to say, hey, okay, this needs to be this 300 block, block long wire that you have to watch me add every single block individually. Especially since since it's 1.2, I don't have world edit or single player commands yet, so that's my reasoning there. Sorry for everyone who wants to see me lay out all 300 blocks by hand. First thing, I added the, the branch command. Well, this is a switch I put right above this. And basically, it's just a wire. And looks just like any other redstone wire. And if I follow it, I take his, I'm taking it all the way over to here. Now, next thing is we will need four extra commands in our programs that, um, <coughs> in our program memory. So I moved the our decoder over and added four extra wires in. And you can see these four wires right here. I also extended out the, uh, what's it called, the clock line, with the line that, where the clock is pulsing to, I extended that out, added a repeater so it reaches, and here that is, and I also adjusted this, I move the four commands over here. And that's basically all the setting up I did already, hopefully you will uh, do that, if people are having problems with that I'll make a video showing you how you can set this up. Hopefully it's not that bad, th bad though. <coughs> so, now let's get into the explaining thing, because this probably doesn't make a lot of sense as to why I've just done all this. First of all, of course, the branching command is going to determine whether or not we're going to branch. So basically, if this is, we aren't branching, we're just going to go to the normal next command. If we are branching, we're going to jump to some other command in the program memory. That, that's how this is going to work. So if 0, just go to the next command. If 1, jump to a different command. Now, we have four extra commands. The reason is because of our go-to system. The way the go-to system works is every single one of these lines of program memory, or lines of code if you prefer, every single one of them has its own binary number assigned to it. When our command register, which is this, this is the official name for this register, when the command register is holding the binary number for any one of these commands, that command is going to be the command the computer is processing. So if it's holding this number for this command, it's going to be processing this command. If it's holding number for this command, it's going to be processing this command. The way the go-to system works is it holds a number, and after every command, and after um, what's it called, every program command, it sends whatever n command you've written into memory over to the command register. And the whole effect of that big complicated system is you can put a number for which command you want to go to next. So, if I'm a, I'd always start with this command, if I want to go to command 2, I can do that by just putting in the number for command 2. If I want to go to, to this command, I didn't bother counting, pretty sure it was command 7. If I want to go to command 7, then I could just put in number 7, and it would go to that command next. And that's the way this works. But, if we want branching, we're going to have to hold two commands. One for if we're we're gonna have one command for our normal command, just like normal. This is a command we'll go to next under any normal condition. But if we're branching, we'll have a second command. And that's the second command we're gonna go to if we're branching. And this conveniently gives us a set of eight wires. However, our input register only needs four command <coughs> four commands. So we're gonna need this big complicated piece of redstone which is going to take this, if this is 0, it's just going to pass through our normal command. If it's 1, it's going to pass through our branch command to these wires. And I've already added repeaters and everything to that. So, hopefully that made some sense to you. If not, it's going to make a lot more sense when it's implemented. So, first things first, you need to invert one of the commands because of the way this works. And the way I have this set up, I'm using every other command, so these four commands are going to be the non-branch commands. 
So these four are going to be the normal commands, and these four are going to be the branch commands. The very first thing we need to do is invert them. And now I'm having doubts on whether or not I'll have enough space to do this. But I'll try anyways. In fact, yeah, I'm having serious doubts that I'm going to have enough space to do this. But, oh well. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so now, what I need to do is, I'm pretty sure is I'm going to need to do like this. And yeah, that's right. Okay, so I actually am doing this right. I need a double inversion here. And I'm not even going to bother explaining how this complicated mess of redstone works. But, just trust me, it works. And I put the wire here, because that way it's going to be taking input from our branching command. So this wire right here is going to be the ultimate control of the branch command. And what this builds is something called a muxer. And this just builds one of them. But we're going to need four of them total. And the way this works is you have the first command. And right now the muxer is just going to pass through whatever this command is. So if it's, zero, if it's one, it passes through one. If it's zero, it passes through zero. Now if this receives power, it passes through whichever one this one is. And as you can see, a little bit, it does indeed doing that. Now if I have this one off, this one right here has absolutely no effect on the output whatsoever. And if this is on, this has absolutely no effect on the output whatsoever. So, with that out of the way, this is a Muxer, we're going to set up a big giant row of them. And just in case you missed it the first time, you could go back, but I'm going to do it again anyways. You do like this, put a block here, and then you do like this, and there. And this builds you a muxer. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of them off camera, because hopefully, actually, you know what, it's simple enough. I, I'm going to go ahead and do it here. And yeah. And one momento above of all. And okay, almost done. And pretty sure that's not what's supposed to go there. And there we go. So now this is gonna be our conditional branching mechanism. If we're not branching we're going to go through, and if we are branching, we're going to go for the branch command. Now, let's go over how to set this up. First off, I'm going to go over this command and delete it, because you have not seen this command yet. So now, other than that, this is pretty much the exact same addition subtraction program I set up in the example. Except, well... I have to leave the go-to system because it's big, complicated, and I haven't got it right yet. So, what do you mean? Because I redid it. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit tired right now. I just sort of woke up and made this video, so yeah. And anyways, let's start writing the new go-to system. So you have this used. Now, this is command 0, command 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, now as I said, this is what works on every other command base. So the first, this one's for command. This one goes to the non-branch command. So normal command, normal command, normal command. N I think I skipped one somewhere along the line. And I may have just screwed up because I, I just read that command. And um, yeah, I did. So normal command. Normal command, normal command, normal command. Branch command, branch command, branch command, branch command. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. And now we're going to program it. One of the th simplest things you might want to do is have a switch to toggle between addition and subtraction. And I think our branch switch is going to do that perfectly. So, first off, we are going to want to 
go to command one. And I sort of screwed everything up, so I'm just redoing this segment. So first off, I'm just going to break these torches, and I, I've decided that I have a different way of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take advantage of our friend the debug commands in order to help me figure out which command goes where, because this does get a little bit tricky when you're setting up things with conditional branching. And that's really the reason that I didn't do it in the Building a Minecraft Computer Tutorial series. So, let's start. Let's go to command 1. Now, if it's not branching, which I believe is this one, yes, if it's not branching, I want it to go to just go to the next command. If it is branching, I want it to still go to the next command. Which basically, excuse me, this is command 0. So basically, next command is command 1. And just to test this, I actually can probably just a really temporary switch on the side of this to help me test branching. And since the clock should be off, yes, okay, so that is working exactly what we want. Those are the commands we want. Now, command one. Now, normally I want this to go to command two, and that should be, since this is wire one, this should be right here. Yes. Now, if we're branching, I want this to go to the command 3. And that's working. Excellent. So, command 2. No, this isn't working. Okay. Best explanation is I screwed up some redstone somewhere. And look, I did. And now it's working perfectly. So, if it's branching, go to as command 3, which is a subtract command. If not, go to command 2, which is the add command. Now, next one. This is the add command. Now, if we're still want, if we still want to add, basically it should be the exact same thing as before. If we still want to add, just keep going to add, because that'll keep displaying the add system, because it'll need to refresh. But if we hit the branch command, we can change and go to subtraction if we want. So, there we go. Now the subtract command, which we haven't fully written yet, but we're going to do that in just a second. Now, normally we want to go to the subtract command, so that should be this, and actually I think this is going to be the whole code, so. But normally we want to go to command 3, yes, that's subtract command, but if we actually, no, n actually I think you need the exact same thing again. We're still branching. Go to subtract. Okay, so if we're still branching, because we should have branched, go and subtract. So if we still want to subtract, keep subtracting. If not, add. So there we go. That's going to set up our commands. Now we have to actually write the subtract command. Fortunately, this is going to be identical to our add command, except for one aspect which I'll go over in just a second. So for now, I'm going to actually copy the add command and not the one before it. And... So I should have gotten an exact copy of the add command. Perfect. The only difference between the add and subtract commands is, instead of using doing AOU add, we're going to do AOU subtract. So now, it is time to test this. First off, I'm going to turn it on. And it is... It does not look like it's turning on. Interestingly enough. Very... Very interestingly enough. So, why? Oh, I, I know why. That's because I didn't start the program. That's that was me having a little bit of a brain fart. Sorry about that. So now, if I start the program, it should be doing as it's up. So, just one, two, three, then that should have done the addition, and it did. So now I should be able to switch and make it do subtraction. 
and there we go. Now it did subtraction instead of addition. Now if I unload the program and defaulted subtraction according to my basic branching system it should do the processing and do subtraction. Exactly what we want. So I'm going to unload the program, undo the branching, and turn it off. So that's a basic example of how we can do branching. Now branching can be used for just about anything you can possibly imagine. So, so using it to select between addition and subtraction is just a basic example. And if you wanted a fancier computer, you could power the branching wire, which is this one I'm pretty sure. You can send power to it from different aspects inside the computer rather than just a user-controlled switch. I Me mean, personally though, I think user-controlled switches are generally the most useful in Minecraft computers, so that's why I did that. And that's the basic conditional branching. So thank you, see you next time.